Since 1776, over 100 political parties have come and gone. Now, the country is divided into two major parties, the Republicans and the Democrats. But where do those parties come from? Today, we are going to take a look at the history of the Republican Party. When the United States declared independence from British rule in 1776, its first job was to set up a government. This was not easy, and people had different ideas about how the country should be run. These differences led to the formation of political parties, but the modern Republican Party was not one of them. That didn't happen until 1854. To understand what happened, we need to go back to 1819. Back then, the United States had an equal number of free and slave states, 11. But as new states joined the Union, the balance tipped back and forth. And then, in 1854, the Kansas-Nebraska Act declared that each new state should be able to choose whether they would be free or slave states. This caused a huge uproar. Many in the South feared that slavery would be ended, and many in the North were concerned that slavery would spread across the country. Political turmoil followed, and when the dust settled, it led to the creation of a new group who supported free states, the Republican Party. In 1856, the Republican Party put forward their first candidate for election as president, John C. Fremont, but he didn't win. Then, in 1860, Abraham Lincoln clinched the nomination at the party's convention and was elected the first Republican president of the United States. The Republican Party has been part of American politics ever since, with presidents such as Dwight D. Eisenhower, Ronald Reagan, and the father and son pair George Bush and George W. Bush. The Republican Party's beliefs have evolved over the years, and today they are associated with conservative values, fewer government regulations, and lower corporate taxes. How has the Republican Party changed over time? 